Today, I wanna to show you guys how to create custom content block types in the CMS. This is a really powerful feature, and unfortunately, I haven't been able to find it documented anywhere in the wiki or in the community. Um, to keep things really simple, I wanted to uh, create a custom content block type that is based on Twitter Bootstrap's Jumbotron. So to get started, let's jump over and go into Tables and Columns. And let's create a new table. For the label, let's put Jumbotron. And the table name should be U underscore content block. And then the name, so Jumbotron. Uh, extends, this has to extend content block. And we'll add a new menu to content management. Um, for the labels, we need, we'll do a title and a description. We'll make that a string. Let's actually make that capital. Okay, and for the user role, let's make this uh, content admin. And I think that's it. All right, now we need to create some records for that new table. So if we search on Jumbo, there's Jumbotrons. We're gonna create a new record. And then first we wanna uh, uh, configure the form layout. There's a couple of fields from the uh, content block table that we need. The first one is name. And then actually I'm gonna get rid of these. Keep it simple, name, title, description. All right, now I'm just gonna populate based on what we already see here on the Bootstrap page. So hello world, let's grab that. Actually, I messed that up, let's move that down. And we'll just, the name will be, we'll call it Jumbotron. Okay, now we got a record. Now what we want to do is go to macros. Now this is very important. You have to create the macro first before you even take a before you try to view this in the ESS portal. And the naming convention is extremely important. It has to be called render underscore then the name of the table, which is u underscore content block. I can type. Uh, and then we called it jumbotron. So render, then the name of the table. And we need a test to make sure that everything we've done so far works. So I'm just gonna put hello world. And we'll save that. All right, now if we've done everything correctly, we should be able to go to sites. Pull up a page and edit it. And if we click add content, we under content blocks, we should now have one called Jumbotron. And we'll add that here to the top. And you'll notice it says, hello world. All right, now we just wanna update the macro to reflect the HTML that is used for Bootstrap's Jumbotron. So let's start off by going here to the Jumbotron. Let's grab, grab the HTML. And let's go over to UI macros. Modify our, our macro. I'm going to paste in the new HTML here. Now, what's cool is you get access to the variable called current or an object called current that is the current record of the table that you just created. So, uh, current, and then we're going to go u underscore title, and then uh, current dot 
view underscore description, I believe it is. And we'll leave that button there. We, you can modify this. This is just as an example, but you can use this method for creating any kind of content block type you want. You know, it could be a slideshow, it could be a series of buttons, you could pull in many to many relationships and, you know, have a list of buttons under a single record. Uh, this is completely limitless as far as what you can do and you can define all your own markup But I'm just trying to keep it really simple that which is why we're just covering You know a block that really just has two fields on it So before we save the record, I just want to wrap this in a container so that it won't be fully wide And then save it We'll come back to the portal and we refresh the page and there you go our custom content block type and now the last thing I want to show you guys is how cool it is when we edit it so if we jump back we want to modify or edit the page and now if we click the pencil icon Let's just modify the title. I'm just going to say this is a test. And boom, there you go. And let's see, we'll drag that down a little bit. I really think this is one of the biggest secrets in the CMS system, and I use this feature all the time when I'm building portals. So I hope you guys enjoy, and uh, definitely reach out to me and let me know what you think in the comments section on the website. Thanks.